What is going on guys? Grave here today. I'd like to talk about new gen consoles and why it's still so hard to find one right now in 2021. Kind of talk about some things Microsoft has mentioned over the last couple days. Before I get into all the details, be sure if you're not subscribed to the channel to hit the subscribe button. If you are a subscriber, make sure you have notifications turned on. If you enjoy the video, hit the like button and be sure to check out everything down in the description, the community discord, my Twitter, and of course the affiliate here on the channel. GT Racing. A little bit of Ghost of Tsushima gameplay in the background, so I hope you guys enjoy that. Uh, a few days ago, Microsoft, or actually yesterday, Microsoft talked about uh, the kind of process of what's slowing down the you know creation of all these new gen consoles and how they think it's still going to be kind of difficult to find one in 2021. Microsoft has kind of eased around uh, that, I guess, when they were asked that by you know some different you know gaming websites, interviews, that kind of thing. And they kind of just said it's still going to be difficult to, you know, get one of these because of the parts not being, you know, there, not getting there quick enough, things not being made fast enough, things not shipping fast enough. And of course, we all know what's going on in the world. It's what's caused all these issues not being able to find a console to begin with because no stores really have them in stock. But with Microsoft saying that, you know, of course, their chips is the main thing they're waiting on. Of course, AMD does make chips for Sony and Microsoft. If they're slow on getting those chips to these companies, of course, then the companies are going to be slowly processing, you know, and creating these new gen consoles. If they don't have the parts, they don't have the parts. You know, you can't really make something without everything there. Um, and I, I think a lot of people are kind of getting frustrated with this because I think most people thought that start of 2021, you'd start to see these consoles in stores. I kind of felt that it's going to be a long process even this year, just personally. I've been looking for a PS5, looking for a PS5, and looking for a PS5, and still not able to get one. I will say that my local store did have one Xbox Series S on the shelf uh, a few weeks back. Now, this was because somebody had ordered it and had done the ship-to-store thing and never came and picked it up. So, you know, stores have a certain time where they hold the stuff. You don't pick it up, they're going to sell it. So, that was the only reason that one console was there. So you might can get lucky in your local store and, and hopefully find one like that where somebody has, you know, ordered it online, went to site to store and never picked it up. And, you know, after four or five days, they go ahead and put it on the shelf. But if you're not lucky enough to find one like that, you're really not going to find one in stores. Not like the stores have a stock of 10 or 12 in the back and they're just not putting them on the shelf. They're still trying to sell these things online. And as you know, over the last few weeks, we've had some online drops in the U.S. and the U.K., and once again, they were sold out in seconds to minutes. You know, they're pretty much gone within two minutes, if not gone in 15 seconds. I have tried and tried and tried till I almost really just don't care anymore to try online right now because it's really impossible to get one because either you get it in your cart, you have everything ready, you have your, all your payment methods ready, and they're, you know, you're, they're gone by the time you click the button or you get that oops, you know, the page won't load. The website won't load just to begin with once the you know consoles go up. Now, some websites have been putting out new gen consoles without announcing they're putting them out. So some people have been able to get one. And I think that's probably really the best method to do this. If you're any company out there, in my opinion, is if you have a stock of PS5s, just put them up on your website and let people get them, you know, kind of as they come to the website. Instead of saying, we're going to put new gen consoles out at 11 o'clock, you know, on this day. Then it's just really a mess. The websites don't handle it. People go in and buy all of them with bots. And it's just really a big pain in my opinion. So overall, I'm looking for this year to be slow once again for new gen consoles. Uh, hopefully maybe by spring or summer, some things will pick up. We'll start to see more of these in store, if not sooner. Uh, because I don't think the online purchase idea is working very well. Uh, there's a lot of speculation out there that people saying they're doing it on purpose. You know, they're, they're putting out these consoles slowly to drive up the you know need and want for one and companies have been known to do that i mean apple has been known to do that with phones and, and things of that nature where they just put them out slowly to make sure you know that people really want them so when they're out people are going to go out and buy all of them that are available at that time yes companies have been known to do that and while that may be part of the whole thing right now also you know microsoft saying we don't have the chips available uh, is also probably uh, another reason that we're not seeing more consoles being made. Sony has really had no comment yet. They're still sticking to that. We're going to have so many, whatever it is, 17, 18 million units made by the end of you know their quarter for 2021, which would be spring. A lot of people are thinking that's not going to happen because you would think that you would see a lot more consoles available as of right now if that was the case. Unless, like I said, everything's just getting bought online by bots and whatever. If you're getting thousands of, of, of consoles gone every time you post them uh, on a certain website, certain store, and you know bots are buying them, it's going to be the same situation kind of at the end of 2020 where nobody really can get one. 
And I don't really think you absolutely need a new gen console right now. Yes, there are games that you can play on them. Uh, most of these games are just kind of upgraded from the old gen version to the new gen version. But really, in my opinion, late spring into summer, into the end of the summer, is when you're really going to want a new gen console. There are some games coming out that are made more for new gen. Even though they still may be on old gen, they're still being made more for new gen now. And I'm kind of curious to see exactly what's going to happen when all this goes on because a lot of people are, may not be buying these new gen games because they don't have the you know the console to play them on. So they still may be buying the old gen versions. I'm kind of curious to what you guys think. Leave me a comment with your thoughts, and I'll catch you all next time. Peace.